Hello, my name is Morgan Haynes and I'm the CSN Gear Up First Year College Advisor. I will be taking you through CSN's application step by step. First thing that you're going to want to do is visit csn.edu. This will take you to the College of Southern Nevada's homepage. Next, you're going to want to click apply in the top menu bar. This will direct you to our admissions application page. On this page, we have a few different options depending on what type of student you are. For you as a first time college student, you're going to want to click that option. Once you click on the type of student you are, it will direct you to the first time college student page. Here you can click on a video to see the different areas of study that CSN offers. You can also view all your enrollment steps. Once you've learned about the process at CSN, click apply here at the bottom of your screen. This will direct you to your application login. To start the application process, you will want to create a username and put your first and last name as well as your email address and create a password. Next you will click create an account. From there you will be sent a confirmation to your email address that you put in. Once you confirm your email address, you are going to want to look on the left side of your screen and put in your username and password and sign in. This will take you to the beginning of your application. Please review this first page to see the application submission requirements as well as what to do once you have submitted your application. Once you have done so, you will click next in the bottom right hand corner. This will bring you to the About Me page. Here you are going to want to click on which term you'd like to apply for. Here I've selected Fall 2020. You will also click what your preferred campus is. CSN has three main campuses, North Las Vegas campus, West Charleston campus, as well as Henderson campus. From there, you will put in your first and last legal name. Then, you will add your birth date by clicking the little calendar on the right side. If you are a Nevada foster youth or were at any time in the Nevada foster care system, please select yes in this drop down menu. If you have been in Nevada foster care, you may be eligible for additional resources and or support services. Next, you will fill in your address with your city, state, postal code, country, your phone number, and if you would like to receive text messages, as well as your email address. This portion of the application is optional. However, I highly urge you to fill out the following information. Next, you can add your citizenship status, which is optional. However, your residency classification could be impacted. Next, please select whether you currently live in Nevada, as well as the date in which you began living in Nevada. This will complete the first page of your application. To continue on, click next in the bottom right hand corner. This brings you to your education page of the application. In the drop down menu, you are going to want to click which high school education you have obtained. From there, you will type in which high school you went to. Please make sure to add your date of graduation, GED, HSE, or your expected graduation date from high school. If you have applied for the Millennium Scholarship, please put your ID if known here. 
Also, if you have applied for Nevada Promise, please click this option in the top left corner. This will complete your education portion of the application. Please click next in the bottom right hand corner to continue. Here is the academic interest portion of the application. You can select your area of study here that you are interested in. We have an array of options including art and design, biological and physical science, business, computing and engineering technologies, education, health sciences, hospitality and culinary arts, humanities and communications, industry, manufacturing, construction and transportation, public safety, as well as social and behavioral sciences. Once you have selected your area of interest, it will bring you to the signature portion. Please read the top three declarations carefully. Once you have read each declaration, please check all three off. Next, you will put in your electronic signature, which is your first and last name, and certify if you are 18 years or older, as well as adding the date in which you signed. If you are not 18 years of age or older, a parent or guardian must certify as well as sign and date below. Once your application has been signed and dated, you can now click submit in the bottom of your application. Your application to CSN has officially been submitted. To view the status of your application, please click Applications in the top left menu. Thank you for watching the CSN application. If you have any questions, please contact me at morgan.haines at csn.edu. Thank you.